The morning had taken a surprising turn, and my annoyance at missing out on a perfect day for a hunt was slightly appeased by the idea of a different kind of chase. As I stared down into her green eyes, with irises much larger than ours, I was captivated by the golden swirls inside. Her lips were still slightly parted, and the gods helped me, but I needed to have a taste of them. I lowered my head and hunched my shoulders because she was so short, and crushed my mouth to hers. Her lips were as soft as I had anticipated, and sweet, awakening a desire for more in me. After a moment, once she had some time to recover from the shock of me kissing her, she tried to pull back. In response, I slung my arm around her waist, not giving her an inch, and pulled her flush against my chest, relishing in the erratic beat of her heart against my flesh. Her bite surprised me, and when I pulled my lips back, I tasted blood as it ran down the side of my mouth. Incredulously, I stared at her. She bit me. Her eyes sparkled with anger as she struggled in my grip. Gasser's sharp intake of breath at the sight of my blood dripping down my lips brought me back from my stunned frozenness. I don't think the Kalini likes your advances, brother. Maybe you should let me try, Gasser stated with easy-to-read concern on his face. A concern I was sure was directed toward the Kalini because no male had ever injured me and lived to tell the tale, unless it was in training, and no Kalini had ever even attempted to. So Kassara's concern wasn't unfounded. I noticed a drop of my blood on the Kalini's lips, and she too seemed frozen from what she had done. I quickly bent forward and licked my blood off her lips. I believe that's mine. The entire hall had turned quiet. Nobody moved. The other human Kalinis, who were still huddled on the ground, sat frozen, staring at me, same as my warriors, who stood back, waiting for what I would do, just like the rest of my assembled court. Kalinis were revered in our culture. Nobody laid a hand on them. But I had never heard of one hurting a warlord either. If I didn't want to lose face in front of my warriors and court, I needed to punish her, and I had an idea how.